and they're off. Racing to the first in the JCB Triumph Hurdle, the first race on Boodle's Cheltenham Gold Cup Day, Porticello leading at flight number one, uh, followed by in second Fidor, Ikari Allen, and Ilete Tomp is keen over on the inside, really under a stranglehold in these early stages. Uh, Vauban is handy, and they're followed by Luna Power with uh, towards the outside is Ages of Man. And then Pied Piper, Night Salute towards the back with Teddy Blue. Coy Dotville is the back marker, and Dr. Parnassus is held up towards the rear as well. And it's Porticello and Fedor that lead the field towards flight number two. Ikari Allen in third, Vauban in fourth, Ilete Tomp has got his head down now. He was throwing it about a lot early on, followed by Pied Piper as they move on to this flight. Luna Power back in the field at flight number two. Fedor on the outside of Porticello as they race in front of a capacity crowd. Four lengths clear of Ikari Allen back in third. Vauban is fourth. Then Ilete Tomp on the inside of Pied Piper. Then Luna Power from Knight Salute and Dr. Parnassus. Teddy Blue round the inside under restraint from Coy Dodville and Ages of man at the rear of the field as they turn now into the back straight. In the back there's three flights of hurdles to cross. Porticello and Jamie Moore on the inside of Davy Russell and Fedor. They've got four lengths on the field. Ikari Allen is in third. And then Vauban up on the outside, clearing this one from Lilette Tomp, and then Pied Piper, Luna Power behind those, and then Dr. Parnassus as they continue along the back straight, Night Salute towards the inside, Teddy Blue, Coy Dodville, and Ages of Man clearing flight number four. On their way slightly uphill towards the next. Porticello and Fedor, they're still locked together, stride for stride, going towards this one, and both jump it well. Vauban jumping well as well on the outside of Ikari Allen, and they're followed by Lete Tomp and then Pied Piper, Luna Power, and then Dr. Parnassus towards the outside as they swing left-handed going up the hill. Still towards the back, Knight Salute is locked away towards the inside of Lona Pyre. And then back then to Coy Dodville, Teddy Blue and Ages of Man. This is the third last they're coming to. A long way from the finish. Porticello and Fedor again in the air together. Porticello came up well there for Jamie Moore. Ikari Allen in third. And then Vauban on the outside followed by Ilete Tomp and Pied Piper, who's travelled well. Behind these is Dr. Parnassus. Knight Salute is to the inside then of Luna Power. Coy Dodville towards the back still, Teddy Blue and Age of Man. Ages of Man as they run at the top of the hill and about to run downhill and on towards the second last, a wide open race still Plenty going well at this stage as they start towards the second last. And it's Porticello and the yellow jacket on the inside of the red and white jacketed Fedor. They're trapped by Ikari Allen, green and yellow hoops. And then Vauban in the pink with the green spots over two out Fedor and Porticello. Vauban looking a threat now in third. Then Pied Piper and the white cap has come through just to the outside of Ikari Allen. Dr. Panassas and Ilete Tomp as they straighten up now on the long, long run to the final. Final flight, Porticello coming under pressure, Fedor just about the leader, Vauban cruising up on the left, and then in behind these is Pied Piper with a good run too, Ikari Allen and Ilete Tomp, and there's six in line as they race on to the final flight, but Vauban seems to be going best under Paul Townend, he hasn't moved much, approaching the last, and Vauban now begins to assert up over to the last, Vauban a little untidy, Pied Piper and Fedor, they're battling on well in the red and white but Vauban finds more now and kicks away and up the hill Vauban wins the JCB Triumph hurdle tie for a second Fedor on the near side of Pied Piper and a gap back to Ikari Allen in fourth not the most fluent jumper but heck he's got an engine yeah he's not the finished article yet um, it was a modelling race probably you know um, but that's why we're a bit handier than we we've thought we, we might be. Um, and no, he, as I say, he's not the finished article yet, but he, he has an engine there. And you, it wasn't the race you were expecting from the sound of things. You were thinking it was going to be strongly run. Triumph normally is, but on paper it, it was looking like it was going to be that way. So um, I was anxious at the start to to kind of keep an eye on what people were were thinking of doing, and um, you know it, it worked out. We got we got into a nice position and. Uh, 
yeah, he's a bit to learn, as I say, but he's he's improving every run. Willie was just talking about champion hurdle next season. Does he strike you as having the potential for that? Potentially, yeah. Um, he's a very big engine there. Obviously, he'll have to jump a bit slicker than that for a champion hurdle. But, um, you know, that's, we, that's things we can work on at home. And um, he's definitely going the right way. Every run, he's getting better and he's, he's learning every day. So. I have to say from the neutral, having worried about the depth of the champion hurdle division, it's really good to hear. So you've got Vervan, you've got Constitution Hill, you've got Honeysuckle, of course, but that's going to be a hell of a matchup, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that's a bit down the road now, I think, for yeah. me to be worrying about this moment in time. <laughs> and how about the team? I mean, you must be delighted. You six, six winners and we've still got six races to go. Yeah, they're, they're running well. Um, you know, we were out of luck the first day. Uh, Patrick, Patrick got us out of trouble. So, um, you know, everyone's put in a huge effort and uh, it's, it's credit to the, the man at the top again. And how are you finding the ground now? We had the rain on the Wednesday, but it dries quickly here. How is it? Yeah, it is drying quickly and that sun's going to dry it out as well. Um, if anything, it'll get uh, a bit tacky, I suppose, you know, but um, they're, they're juveniles too, so um, it, it might be a bit easier to get through on, on, on the older horses. And I'm going to bowl the question I asked you yesterday, which was album photo with first type cheek pieces. Are you the pace solution in the Gold Cup? Uh, we'll wait and see. I know I wasn't going to get anywhere. Well done, Paul. Best of luck for the rest of the day. And Willie Mullins expressed his confidence in Vauban after he won the Spring Hurdle in the Dublin Racing Festival, didn't you? You seemed very bullish. You seemed very bullish about this horse for the triumph after the Dublin Racing Festival. Yeah, he's a lot of ability. And, you know, his flat racing experience helped him. But, um, you know, his ability, he, he just, uh, you know, he could be a nice horse for the future. Very much so. He yeah. lacks a little bit of fluency in his jumping, but it just didn't matter. Well, it's just inexperience, but he's, he's just got so much uh, speed um, for these types of horses. We were delighted. You know, it was a great decision by Rich. I wanted to keep him as a novice for next year. Rich said, no, we're going racing this year. And uh, so one up for him on that. And you've been talking about some grand plans for this horse. You mentioned the Melbourne Cup. Is that seriously what you're thinking? Well, he is a type of horse that we could bring back to go flat racing later on in his, his career. But I think we're going to pursue this career first. I well, think... we'll see. I'll have a word with Rich and we'll see what, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what he says. Yeah, but, um, you know, he, he's, he's had a flat racing season. Now he's had a jump racing season. He might want to break rather than going flat racing this season. We might just leave it for another year. And so the champion hurdle would be the target for the next season? I imagine that's the obvious place to go, mm -hmm. yeah. He's an exciting horse and it's a great start to the day. Best Thank of luck for the rest of it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Rich. And as expected, I think the key words, this is the one that Richard, you've been talking about all week. Verban has delivered, as you hoped. Yes, absolutely. He was our best chance of the week and um, delighted with that. He's a proper little taxi, isn't he? He was, he was, <laughs> he was really good, wasn't he? And Willie was just giving you the credit for going this season over hurdles. Can you just talk us through that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was having a war with Willie because none of our horses were running very well at the beginning of the season and we didn't have that many. And he wanted to keep them for next year. And, and we, while we're happy to do that with some of ours, we bought quite a few last year that we have put away. Um, this fella, I just didn't have enough runners that I thought were of quality. And we're in a transitioning year, as I've been talking about. And I just said, look, run him. And... Um, uh, let's see how he gets on. And if he doesn't, we've got a horse for next year. But he came out and won the grade one at, um, at Leopardstown. This was always the plan. But he really ran because our, the, our, our string wasn't firing at the time. And I thought, well, he's supposed to be a good one, so let's have a go. So, And presumably he was showing something at home for well, able to push on. They've yeah. been raving about the horse forever. So, you know, he's, um, he's got some boot. His breeders are here, which I'm delighted about from France. They're so excited. So it's a, <laughs> it's, it's a, lovely, it's a lovely day, yeah. And when he's been talking about quite an aggressive flat campaign for him, potentially something like the Melbourne Cup, he was just there saying he thinks now champion hurdle next season, but he was open to the conversation with you. What do you think? Why can't we win both? That's <laughs> Same year? Oh, why not? I, I'd definitely be on for the Melbourne Cup. Um, I love going down there. It's a fantastic experience. The prize money's terrific. But, you know, he, he clearly has, has brushed up his jumping a bit. Well, pardon, I, I haven't seen it all, but I, I heard he jumped well. I watched the last where he flattened it, but, you know, as long as he's done that, that's okay. Well, I'll let you go in and Lovely. greet him. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.